Here's a little alternator wiring trick that I had to had to figure out. Somebody showed me this because I was having issues. This is the plow truck. Took the red wire coming out of the wiring loom that went into here. And we diked it. You see that end's just hanging there. We diked the red wire, fed it back into the alternator to the charging post. And then I just got a small like welding lead for a wire now that runs to my charging or to my batteries. So I was having issues with the uh, with the charging because when before I did this, when your charging system's charging, all your charging system runs back to your fuse box, and shit was getting hot, wires were getting hot, and was just having issues. So we did this like 20 years ago. And now it just, you know, rather than having to go back through the fuse box, it just shoots it straight out to the battery, which is working out way better. So there's the one cable right there going to the one battery. I got dual batteries in here. So, and whenever you run two batteries, always isolate them. I got a buddy that was hitting me up a while ago. Come jump start my truck. It's like, man, I know you got two batteries in there. Why are they both dead? Oh, I don't know. It's like you didn't isolate them? No. These are isolated so that if the main battery gets sucked down, as soon as I roll the key, the solenoid activates and ties the two batteries together. So I'm, I'm never dead. Even if the one battery gets sucked down, stereo got left on or something, as soon as I roll the key, the two batteries tie together and, and tag up and, and it starts. It's always started. But me and several people were having problems with this charging issue, and that ended up being a great fix. We diked the red wire, looped it back to the charging post, and then ran a battery cable or a small welding lead straight off that post, straight to the battery. So now the charging system doesn't have to go through the fuse box. Worked out really good. Haven't had any problems with that since. The old plow truck's got literally about 500,000 miles on it. Had to do some uh, drop ears here for the plow. Because it's got a 6 inch lift on it. But been a hell of a truck, man. This thing's got a posi up front. Stock posi. It just goes anywhere I want. It's It's been a hell of a truck, man. Literally at least 500. It's about like the roll-off truck. Five, 600,000 miles on it. So, 6 inch lift, 35, 12, 50 tires. But, just figured I'd pass on that alternator trick. That's worked really good for 20 plus years now, man. So, eliminate uh, your charging system having to go back through the fuse box. My buddy had a Dodge, and he was having all kinds of problems with him. His truck, plow truck, them damn Dodges. There's enough wiring under the hood of a Dodge. The wire three Fords or Chevys, but he did the same thing, and then I followed suit. Worked out great, no problem since. So just passing that on. Everybody be safe.